Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Ninja Gaiden Shadow for Game Boy. We were on Stage 3. Last time on Stage 2, we beat Jack and Gregory. The big man, small man combo. Definitely gave me some flashbacks to Super Back to the Future 2. Which I played many moons ago. And I reminisced about uh, while I was taking this sip of tea. Anyway, it's time for stage three. We are now almost halfway through the game. And on these little tightropes, you have these little machines that shoot out these bombs. Now the bombs can go downwards, or they can stop descending in midair and start moving upwards. Either way, they're, they're bad, and you don't want to touch them. You also have guys who just walk towards you. They're easy to kill off. And then you have these flamethrowers. They go in a circle. You don't want to be hit by these. Oh, and the soldiers here, they double back. Now, to avoid this one, you have to be all the way at the corner there. And then you can move. In that orb is a partial health refill. I don't get it, so therefore... Well, I don't need it, so therefore I don't get it. Therefore, I'm not going to get it. And yes, these bombs explode. And you just turned away from me for whatever reason. Why did you do that? Anyway, we have these platforms now. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. Either way, you don't want to miss them. And of course, you have the little flying droids that shoot bullets at you. That you don't want shooting at you. Now, thankfully, it's pretty easy to avoid the bombs that these things shoot when you know where they're going to be. And you know when they're going to be shot out of the enemy here. Also, these things do take a break between bombing attacks. I believe they shoot out three and then they take a little break and then you can kind of move when you need to. Once you get to this hook, Ryu will immediately walk up to it and grab it, and you'll go up here. These things, you want to avoid them at all costs. How did I avoid that bullet? I will never know. And we want to use the grappling hook to get up here at the very end. Otherwise, we're not going to make it and we're going to get hit. Thankfully, those things do not insta-kill you. And now we have flamethrowers coming out of the wall. We've seen them before, but, well, we get to see them a little more here. And that thing that is moving back and forth, when you strike it, it explodes. Want to be careful at the spike pit here. There is a flamethrower that circles around the room. And while it looks like there may be two flamethrowers here, you just have the one. And we can just avoid that. Now, right here. Keep running. That orb contains an extra life, but it's not worth getting. Just keep running to the right. You'll get a full heal right here. Which we don't need, because we've barely taken any hits. And now it's time to take on General Allen. Not, not General, Colonel Allen. That's his name. You want to... Stay away from him at all costs. You want to hit him as much as you can. Ow, I didn't think he'd double back on me right there. And you want to stick to the ceiling whenever he shoots at the floor. He can shoot at you if you're on the ceiling. And it can be painful. And, of course, if he watches you go up, he will shoot up at you. So you just really, really want to be careful. Like, he will look for you. And if you can confuse him, you can actually get a few shots on him. I am doing worse than I should be because I am talking and doing this at the same, at the same time. Which is not how I should be doing this. Ah, I could have hit him there a few more times.
Well, at least I learned from my mistake there. And that's a good way to confuse them. Just have them be at the end there and you can just get them to shoot upwards and then you can confuse them. You can even have them run right to your sword too. That's a good strategy. And after enough destruction... Colonel Allen goes down and is on to stage four. Interestingly, there was a map in the background and New York was flashing, unlike the other targets that the map had. Looks like they're going for New York first and then they're going for the rest of the world. But here we are in stage four. We seem to be some in some sort of undersea base of what is going on in the window in the background is any indication. And we will be going through this undersea base, I guess, in the next video. So join me next time for stage four. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.